Okay, Don Long here with one of my wonderful clients, Stephanie Kittner. How's it going, Stephanie? Great. Good, good. All right, so we were here today at our Lifestyles Gym here in Jacksonville. Stephanie and her husband made the trip down so we can go through a, a quad workout. You know, we're in the off-season training at this point, uh, leading up to, a, you know, preparation for the Nationals in, in November. We're doing drop sets of 12-12-12 for our leg extensions. Um, for example, she would do, say, 150, 140, 130. That'll be a com complete one set. That's 12, 12, 12. The next set will be, for example, 160, 150, 140, and then so on and so on. Each set we get heavier and heavier, but still uh, breaking it down upward. Um, and then, of course, in between sets, she's stretching and squeezing the muscles. We always like to do that. The object, the, the object for uh, doing the 12, 12, 12 is to pile the muscles with tons of blood. So by the time we get to the compound movements, we're able to break even more muscle fibers with the heavy weight coming on top of it. So, yeah. Go. Her previous background is she did, you know, she's she's actually done figure before. She's actually done women's physique last year. I saw her at the nationals, you know, with some friends of mine that knew her, and um, and she was doing the women's physique. And then, you know, through with 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 uh, her, her and her friends kind of decided, or made a suggestion that she should probably think about doing bodybuilding. And, then, and that's when you know she contacted me, you know, and then uh, we moved forward. And it's been a good off season so far. She's put on some good weight. Um, her training is up, you know, and then uh, she's doing really good. And so we expect good things from her at the Nationals this year. A lot lighter. Let's go. Take advantage of her. Stay in the seat. There you go. How many? How many? Let's go. You got a habit now of, of rocking it, so we don't, we don't want that, okay? Uh, take that habit out and, and plant yourself in the seat and let the legs do the work, okay? Otherwise, it's become like a seesaw effect. And yes, you know, a seesaw, but we're missing the beat a little bit, you see what I'm saying? Just up in there. Use the quads. Up, up. Down. There you go. Get it down. Use the quads. Use the quads. Use the quads. Pull yourself down. There you go. Right Stay in the seat. Use the quads. There you go. Just stay right from here. And straight up. But still stretch. With the weight, there you go. Squeeze up. Say yeah. Come on. Good. Let's go. Big, big, stay strong. Of course, we went to squats where she um, did some of her best weight today, and then of course we want to keep climbing that weight up. But she did squats, and then we do four sets of that. Come on. Down, squeeze back up. Fraction deeper. Good. Right there, every time. Right there. And of course, with all our squat exercises, we you know normally go with a 20, 16, 12, 10. In most cases, that's what, that's the what we like volume. But still going heavy as possible as a kid. Right? So mass and condition at the same time. Good. Step, good. Step up a little bit. There you go. Good. That's good. Squat. Come back up. 
good. There you go. Yeah. I think I'm gonna challenge it on these though. So we're going with a plate and a tent. I'm gonna challenge it. I can see that she can do it, you know. So then she's just not the line doing it, but she can do this stuff. You got this? Yes. Alright. Feel the first rep. Yeah, big yeah. And feel the first rep and then go hard. You always want to feel that first rep, okay? There you go, you got it. You got to drive with it. Lock him out. There you go. You know, and from there, of course, we do leg, leg uh, press, you know, and then um, same thing, 20, uh, our rep range on both squats and leg press are 20, 16, 12, 10, keeping high volume, but still trying to go as heavy as possible, getting the best, best of both worlds. Toes out just a little bit. There you go. Rod, shake it. Shake it to the knees. Feeling it, but like I said, not pushing it, but just gonna just see, just stabilizing. You see what I'm saying? Uh, but just, let's give it a try one time, and if, if, if it feels uncomfortable, but it might make me feel better. It may make you feel better, exactly. There you go. Feel it? You got this. I got. You got this. And drive. One. Drive. I got. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Hi. Seven. Eight. Right when the blood is fully in the muscle, then we finish up with um, three sets of leg, leg um, lunges, walking lunges. And then, uh, of course, trying to increase the weight each, each set with that also. So that's kind of work in progress right now, but we... There you go. Good. A lot better. I would say stay with these 25s for now, three sets. And then once we see we got that, then you move it up. There you go. Now blow it in. Blow it in. Go. There you go. 
Good. Good. Roll with it. Good. That's great. Good. And stretch. And stretch. Let's go. Good. Good. There you go. Work with it. Finish strong. Stretch. Good. You know, once you know you can do it, you can do it. You know, you came over, you said, I'm going to do it, and you did it. You know, whereas the first day, you couldn't even do it. You know? And then we finish off with adductors. We like to, you know, I like with her especially, and a lot of my athletes, you know, the adductors can, can kind of set the tone for the quad. You get the nice, solid addu adductors, then it can actually give an illusion of the quads being bigger. Turn the knees in, there you go. You got it. And so, Stephanie, you want to give us a rundown of how, you know, like a daily routine that you follow? Um, in the morning, the first thing I do is get up and eat. Eat, eat, eat. So I guess that's probably the biggest obstacle I've come across since I've come from figure. And then even into the women's physique, um, as much as Dawn has me eaten, um, after my first meal, I have to, I have to rest. <laughs> Um, but they certainly do fuel my, my workouts. I'm much stronger than I was um, last year. And just since, since March when I started, I actually started my off-season diet um, on vacation. Um, and it just takes a little while. And every time I turn around, he's feeding me more. So um, I look forward to stepping on stage this year, doing the women's bodybuilding um, at the national level. Yeah, so we, we definitely, when she came to me, you know, we, you know, she was actually under eating, which honestly a lot of times people come to me in that fashion, I guess, to my standards anyway. So, and so we, you know, we, we started feeding her more. And in turn, though, she put on good weight without even losing her condition. And so, of course, with the, and I, and of course, I laid out a, you know, a detailed training program that she's been following, which, you know, may be slightly different than what she was used to. But um, so that's, that's been, you know, I, I think helping with her, you know, quality of muscle and things like that. So things are really looking good. And um, she's weighing about 132, 133 right now. 134. Yeah, 134. And so, so we'll, we'll kind of dial it down all the way to, to the lightweight at 114. So she should be really tight at the division. Abdominals and quad, just the motion of it. Okay, and then pressure on the pinky toes and find that cut right there. Good. All right, and good. 